There's no one size fits all when it comes to doing digital in later life. You don't need to be a technical whiz to help an older person do things online. Being patient and encouraging is what matters most. So whether you're a relative, friend, carer or frontline worker, our quick practical tips will help you get started. Chapter 1. Getting online. If you're supporting an older person to get online, why not? Chat about their experiences of digital and ask how comfortable they feel using digital tools. Ask what does digital mean to them. You could ask if you need help with a particular device at home, like a digital heating system, a smart TV or their smartphone. Why not get to know someone's interests? Ask about what they enjoy so you can link digital activities to their everyday lives. Look for opportunities to gently introduce digital benefits. Check in the bus times, for example. Find a good hook, like listening to a favourite song, checking the sports results, video calling their family or joining online faith services. Games or puzzles can be a fun place to start and people often find photos and videos appealing. Remember to talk openly about online safety from the start. Ask what worries they have so you can reassure them. Chapter 2. Making things accessible. Making support accessible is important. Keep in mind to go where people are, whether that's their own home, a care setting or community space they know, like a cafe. Keep time in mind and use it wisely. Consider any travel and parking, for example. Don't expect people to travel at peak times. Would meeting after 9.30am be better? With concessionary passes in mind. Use a range of materials, locations and devices so you can offer people choices to suit their needs. Talk about what will make learning work for them. For example, how long are they comfortable sitting? Or how easy is it for them to hold small things like a computer mouse? Think about the physical environment. Keep background noise low and have good lighting. Offer seating options like chairs with arms and wider seats. Make sure there are accessible toilets close by. Have some written notes that the person can take away and practice with. Keep design clear and simple. And remember, accessibility. Chapter 3. Getting started. So, you're ready and want to get up and running. Let's make things social. For many older people, the social side of things is the reason they come. Keep tea and biscuits on hand. Identify what devices suit people best. Tablets are a great choice for many older people. Others may already have a smartphone they want to learn how to use. Check out if there are any options to loan people devices so people can practice at home or try before they buy. Start with the basics, like turning it on and off, charging, using a touchscreen, and show them how to connect to the internet. Show participants how to check their device is securely connected to the internet and what to do if they are unsure. Try to use broadband which is fast and reliable to minimise technical glitches. Keep screens simple and uncluttered. Show only apps and icons that the person will use. For example, Zoom, email and an internet browser. You can also enlarge on-screen apps buttons and fonts in settings. Chapter 4. Some top tips. When supporting people to learn, it's important to remember to offer one-to-one -one support as far as possible. Have the same person supporting the same individual wherever you can. Respect the wishes and needs of the individual and accept the limit of what they are comfortable with. And keep things easy and consistent. Too many ideas or apps could be confusing. For example, just use one video calling service and stick with that. Chapter 5. Staying digitally connected. How can we encourage people to keep using digital tools? Take time to build trust and use clear communication. Encourage people to use digital every day. You could do this by having simple step-by-step -step written guidance. Remember to provide support around safety, scams and fraud through a point of contact or link to organisations. 
explain that we all share the same worries and help and support is available if they are worried. Treat supporting people to be more digital as a process. Offer ongoing help and try to fix things as they come up. Once people feel they can do more on their own, keep up light touch support like a phone number to call to check something they've forgotten. Think about mentoring options like support from volunteers, family members or carers. You can also train digital champions or link with trusted services like libraries. Explore reverse mentoring, which is young people teaching older people, or peer mentoring, which is older people helping each other. When it comes to supporting someone to do digital in later life, be patient and encouraging. Try to link the digital activity to their everyday lives. Think how to make their support accessible to the individual. Try to make things social and offer ongoing support. For more information, visit our website.